Hey, this is Dave from houseparents.com. Today we're getting ready to fertilize our yard. So we thought we'd go through some of the basics of it. You can have this done by having a service come to your yard and it'll charge you 30 or 40 bucks a month to fertilize your yard. Or you could do it yourself. And you know, we're all about doing things ourselves. So we'll give you the breakdown. Uh, this stuff right here is about 25 bucks a bag for something that will cover 4,000 square feet. So you gotta kinda know your square footage of your yard. That's the first thing. Once you know the square footage of your yard, you pick your product and uh, we're using this uh, Scott's Turf Builder Triple Action. You can get cheaper, but this comes with a guarantee. So if you don't like the results, you can get your money back. So if you're gonna go ahead and take this project on, uh, all you really need to do is pick up some fertilizer of your choice and get either, this is a rotary spreader or a drop spreader. That's about all the tools you need to get started. Whenever you're applying a fertilizer that has weed killer in it, you can't put it on right before rain. I, typically, they don't want rain to occur within 24 hours because what happens is the weed killer portion sticks to the leaves, it gets absorbed into the plant and, uh, and kills, that, kills that weed. So you don't want a rain coming within the first 24 hours and washing all that away. If you're just doing fertilizer and there's no weed killer in it, then you can do that right before a rain. Like say if it's just a bag of nitrogen, you could lay it down right before rain and then the rain will help the nitrogen absorb into the soil and green up your yard pretty quick. So knowing what's in the bag will help you know when to put it down. There are a couple things you wanna know when you're first uh, spreading this down or putting this down. And that is you have to be able to figure out the, the uh, size of your yard. The next part is you have to know what spreader you're using. There's a hand spreader and, they, and they, they have a particular setting. There's a drop spreader, which literally the, there are lots of little holes that run across from wheel to wheel and the fertilizer in there just drops through those holes onto your grass. And then what we have here is a rotary spreader. The rotary spreader works where, where as the wheels turn, this platform spins and the ridges in the platform scatter. And each of those have a setting so that you get just the right amount onto the grass. You'll notice that if you're using Scott's fertilizer, they're, they're gonna tell you, hey, use a Scott spreader. Uh, spreaders are pretty similar, but you can start on a, on a particular number. If you find out it's going out too fast or too slow, you can change it. Uh, but they say four and a half, and that's typically what this one works, works on. This one has a dial. Once you set that dial, so let's say it's on four, then all you have to do is, as you start walking, press that down. And as you press that down, that opens up to a measured amount. And then the fertilizer just falls down that hole and onto the platform, the rotating platform that spreads the seed. One thing to know about rotary spreaders is that as you're walking, one side of the spreader spreads, it gets more uh, fertilizer off to one side than the other. And here I have written on this one walkway. And that means whenever I'm going by a walkway, I want this side to be next to the walkway or the driveway or whatever it might be, because less material is uh, cast onto the left side, whereas front and right side get more material spread out that way. If you read on the bag, they'll say to cut your setting in half so that you only, per only drop half the material, walk across your yard in regular, uh, regular intervals, and then Go, go back a second time, crosshatch pattern, and by doing that, you'll get more of an even coverage. Part of this is just getting used to how your spreader works and your particular situation. With experience, you'll develop a, an understa a better understanding of, of just how it works. So that you spread the material down e in an even fashion, uh, it's, when your grass, certainly when your grass is a little taller or if it's wet, like with dew, you'll be able to see the tracks in your yard and thereby space it out very proportionately. As you can see, this cutter pin turns as the spreader moves forward and that helps agitate or mix up the fertilizer inside the bin. So there's definitely an advantage to going ahead and doing this yourself. It's just uh, um, like with everything, if you can invest yourself in a little bit of uh, getting a little bit of knowledge about what you're doing, it goes a long way to saving you a uh, pretty good chunk of change. Hope this video helps. Thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We've got lots more videos coming. Thanks for viewing and we'll see you next time.